Good morning, everybody. This is Matt Costantino with your WAD for June 1st. Um, it's been a little while since I've done uh, a WAD video, so I apologize for that. Um, what I wanted to try to touch base and talk about today, I've um, been reading the book uh, Hustle by uh, Josh Metcalf. I know it's backwards. Um, but if you put you play this back in a mirror, you'll be able to read it, right? Um, it's a really good book, and one of the chapters that I just got done looking at was um, in chapter 34, he talks about uh, people are fake and stuff. Um, and, you know, what he, what he was really looking at and talking about was how he's, he had a, he has a friend that is, you know, everybody loves him and he, but the, but the guy would actually kind of talk behind people's backs and stuff. And where Josh was like, you know, I'm really straightforward with somebody and everyone thinks I'm a jerk. Um, you know, he's, he was honest and stuff like that. And so basically what it all boiled down to is that he had to start looking at himself as to what is he giving to people? You know, when, when people are um, interacting with him, what are, what are they, you know, what, what is it that he's projecting? What are people getting from him? Is it, you know, is he giving, you know, love? Is it joy? Is it peace? Is it happiness? Is that what the feelings are coming from when it comes to when people see him? I mean, start thinking about, um, you know, the people that you love seeing. So if you're like, if you're at church, um, at work, at school, who is the one, who's the person that when they walk through the room, they just, it, the room lights up and people are just like really excited, really happy that they're there. They look forward to talking to them and start thinking about what is it that that um, they're giving to people. And that's what it really starts boiling down to. Um, you know, when we're starting to talk to people about, you know, Advocare and wanting to talk to them about Advocare or the um, Summer Splash Program Challenge and the... Um, slim down challenge and stuff like that. We're looking to, to see what we can, you know, offer to them to, for us. But if we start looking at it from this perspective is what can I give them, um, that is going to help attract them more to, to me and to what we're doing and to show that consistency. And if this is not your comfort zone, just keep trying to do it. Keep trying to do it. Cause I mean, it's, to me personally, this kind of goes very hand in hand with what Bob has been talking about for the last few months about um, the simplicity of doing this business. All right. So, you know, it's very it's if you're following those 13 um, steps that he's talking about with, you know, listening to the eight minute call and commenting and the three to five uh, messages and then you're you're posting three to five uh, pieces of content on Facebook all of the time. It's that consistency that people are looking for. They're looking to see, you know, how are you going to make them feel? If you're going to make them feel really good and warm and welcome and give them that warm fuzziness, even though, you know, the crap of life is happening to you, they're going to, they're going to buy into you. They're going to, they're going to be a lot more receptive. They're going to see that you're genuine and you care. Um, and, and that's really what we need to start trying to focus on and help people um, to see that is what are we going to give to people when they when they see us? Not what are not what we're going to get from them and being part of our team. And yes, we have we have a phenomenal product line. We have a phenomenal business opportunity. But as we said before, when all is said and done, people want to do business with friends. They want to be around people that they love, care, um, and know that they are loved and cared from that person and that they know that they're going to be there for them um, and help encourage them and so forth. So hopefully um, this helps somebody <laughs> um, and it made sense. So, you know, when he was talking about too in the, in the book in this chapter was that he felt uncomfortable, um, you know, trying to, trying to be that, he, he felt that it was almost fake to be um, something that he that he wasn't. But what starts to happen, and you start looking at this too, you know, look at the people that are really successful in Avocare. How how are they interacting with the people that they're around? Are they just watch them? They're they're actively engaged with eye contact, and they're leaning in, listening to 
the person that they're talking to, they're, they're really engaged to what is going on in their lives. And, you know, one thing that I've always been impressed with, like with Bob is that, you know, he may have met one, one or two people, you know, I've introduced him to, to people years ago, but he still kind of, he still remembers their name and, and who they are years later. Um, so, I mean, if, you, if you're if you that engaged and focused on those individuals, you're going to remember them years later. And that really stands out and resonates not only with, you know, us as distributors, but the people that we're going to be coming into contact with or they get re-engaged and they're like, wow, he really remembered who I was. Um, so get uncomfortable with being, get comfortable with being uncomfortable. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> um, so again, hopefully this, this, um, help somebody today and, you know, just think about and start emulating the, the successful people. Just duplicate what's already been done. You know, look at, look at, uh, you know, Bob and, um, the Johnsons, uh, you know, Tid, uh, Sid and Tiffany Johnson, um, you know, the, the Roman Askuses, Don Funk, any of those people and, and, uh, Danny McDaniels and his wife, how are they engaging with people? You know, anyone that is highly successful that you want to be like, Stop asking them, oh, stop asking why, why can't I be this way? Start doing it, okay? So that's your task for today. Go out and connect with three to five people and engage with them and give them something and post what you did and, and what you felt and how you felt about doing it, okay? Thanks a lot. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye.